What happens when amputees can't wear their prosthetic leg? So in this video, I'm going to show you all the different supplies that I use to get around my house throughout the day whenever I can't wear my leg. I want to show you the spot on my leg before I show you what I do. Okay, so here's my little spot and at first glance, it doesn't look like much, but it is so painful that even the slightest touch will drop me to my knees. It hurts so bad. The first thing I need to do is assess this little guy. I need to find out if it's an infection and if it's serious enough to go to the doctor. What I'm gonna do is kind of push around a little bit and see if it is the bone or if it's skin. So here's my bone and it doesn't seem to be the bone at all. In fact, all of this calloused area doesn't hurt. None of this hurts but right there, that's where it hurts. So, if I pinch a little bit, the area around it, none of this hurts. Ow, but when I get right there, it seems like there's a teeny tiny little bead underneath it. So that could be an infection, it could be an ingrown hair, it could be any number of things. So at this point, you have to decide what you're most comfortable with, whether that's to go see a doctor or if you want to try to assess it yourself. Something else that I look for is it on my scar. Is that something that is scar tissue built up and it's not? It's off to the side here. And it does feel like a raised pimple almost, but it's not through the skin at all. It's not anything that can be popped. Because I've studied a little bit about the human body and I know how to fix things on my own leg, I'm going to use bentonite clay because this removes toxins, detoxes through the skin, and it also reduces inflammation. It's very gentle and it's easy to use. I will put the link in the description below. All you have to do to use this is get your finger wet in a little bit of water and dip it in the clay and rub it on. That's it. pretty bad to rub it right now so I'm gonna let that work and I'm gonna show you what I use to get around whenever I can't wear my leg so first of all obviously I use my wheelchair I don't normally feel handicapped or disabled until something like this happens and then I have to kind of slow down listen to my body because if I don't if I don't take this time right now to heal, my body will stop me. And that is something that I have learned along the way. So if you're feeling something, you need to stop and assess it. Go to the doctor if you need to. Take care of whatever you need to take care of. I'm going to try this and giving it a day or two of rest as I can, see if it clears up. If it doesn't, then I will go to the doctor. This is how my wheelchair works. On mine, I have these feet that came with it. So I can put them in, I can lift this one up to elevate my leg as it heals. And then you just pull this little lever right here, push actually, and it goes down. And then I have a place to rest my feet if I so choose. To take them off, all I do is lift them. That's it, and they come off. Typically, I always have them off because it's easier to get down my hallway without them being attached. So on this side, it's clicked in. You just have to push on the inside this lever right here and it pops right off. All right, let's go see what else I use. This is my iWalk and I will post that link in the description below. It is essentially a hands-free crutch. What I do to put it on, lock my chair. Stand up and it has belts that go around. We'll take this belt, 
put it around, strap it on. I have already pre-adjusted the height and everything so that it fits. If you want to see how to assemble it, I did an unboxing that I will post above and in the description below. yet because I don't use it very often so I'm not gonna go up the stairs but I do use it to get from the couch to the bathroom or into the kitchen something like that and this is how it works So I'm sure as I use it more and more, it will get easier. I see a lot of people just bopping around on them, but I can't do that yet. Okay, it's time to go upstairs and see what I use upstairs. about 45 minutes since I put this bentonite clay on so now I'm gonna take it off all you do is just wet it with a wet washcloth and wipe it off with water okay now I'm going to look to see if there's any change see if anything has um, subsided and like a certain place has popped up or anything like that It's still very sore, so I'm just gonna keep trying things until I feel like I'm getting somewhere or I'm not getting anywhere at all, and then that will help me make my decision on whether or not I'm gonna go see the physician. Because this is not life-threatening, I have this time. But if you have something that's life-threatening, don't do any of this, just go straight to your physician. The next thing I'm gonna try is fulvic acid. This company is actually changed to a different company. Right now, they had to mash some things up and come out as a different company but it's the same product so I'm gonna put this on and I will post that in the link the link in the description below and this gets applied the same way as the bentonite clay just water and application this stuff gets kind of messy though so I'm gonna make sure to keep this towel under my leg I'm gonna wet my leg first And this you use very little. Just because it goes a really long way. This is what I use whenever I have any sort of rash on my leg or if I need to do a facial mask or any kind of bug bite, any kind of skin ailment really. I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna paint that on and then wait until it dries give it a little bit more time, like 30 minutes after it dries, see if it can draw out something. Um, give me a little bit more of an assessment of what's going on to make a more informed decision. That's all we're doing is we're trying to make an informed decision. Okay, I'm gonna let you see what I do upstairs whenever I'm not crawling around. I use my knee scooter typically. 
I really like the knee scooter because I can get around quickly. If you're wondering why I don't use crutches, it's because I'm terrible on crutches and it is much more dangerous for me to use crutches than it is to hop, use a knee scooter, my wheelchair, the eye walk, any of it. I will fall flat on my face on crutches. It's time to wash this off and make dinner. I very much prefer my wheelchair downstairs, so I'm gonna make dinner in a minute, but I'm going to wash off this Boo product, is what I called it, it's the fulvic acid, and see how it is, and then I will let you guys know later on in other videos and shorts how it ended up and if I ended up having to go to the physician. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.